thank God for another uh, another day, and uh, certainly uh, grateful to have you uh, all streaming in tonight, and thank God for all of our uh, members, all of our family and friends. Uh, certainly want to continue to uh, pray for one another, keep one another lifted, and that the Lord would uh, watch over us and keep us. Listen, one, one special announcement. Um, you know, Tony Landers passed uh, this past weekend, and uh, the family has decided to kind of expedite uh, the funeral experience. It will literally be this Thursday on tomorrow. Uh, on tomorrow at 11 a.m., uh, we'll be here uh, in our sanctuary. And uh, so we want to just want to pray for the family and, uh, and kind of honor them in their uh, desires, but uh, also remember uh, uh, Brother Tony and uh, just pray for them. Amen. Again, we are uh, in uh, leading up to our Easter season, and this is theologically one of my just favorite times. I, 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 when I think about what Jesus did, and uh, and to really just slow down and 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 deal with that, uh, my soul really gets happy uh, because uh, I, the Lord has allowed me to understand what, and on some levels, what greater salvation I have and what greater salvation you have. And so uh, I thank God for this series. Thank God for uh, Reverend Coleman, Reverend Hezekiah. And uh, Reverend Coleman is going to bless us tonight as we, we work towards uh, Easter. And uh, we celebrate Jesus' death and Calvary's cross and his resurrection. And so uh, we do that. Let me just start to say, too, in month of May, uh, listen, w- uh, let's come back uh, live in the month of May. Uh, I want to do a new series, Praising the Hell Out of Yourself, a book by George McCaleb, and be going through that about, about praise. Let's come out and have a good time. I'm going to talk to Sister Gerald. We're going to eat on that first Wednesday in May. Just fellowship, just come together. Uh, maybe some soup and sandwich or something like that. Get in the Word and spend some time together. and uh, Maybe even have some worship. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, we got to get back to the importance of fellowship and being with each other. And so... Look forward to the, uh, to the month of May. Amen. Let me pray, and then uh, Reverend Coleman is going to come. Father, heaven, thank you for your goodness and your grace. Thank you for uh, your word. Thank you for sending your, your one and only son. Thank you for your, your everlasting love. Lord, pray that it would continue to be encouragement to our hearts and to our soul. Pray that you would be Reverend Coleman tonight. Pray you would give him the words to say, to encourage our hearts and instruct us in the word. And pray that you allow him to proclaim Jesus and exalt Jesus. And that he would be thoroughly explained. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Coleman. Amen. 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 And amen again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish. God has brought me here, even on this day, and uh, as we come upon the Easter season, I feel it uh, a privilege to come before you and uh, break the bread of life as uh, God give me utterance. Um, I'm uh, just an old-fashioned, old gospel preacher and as we lead up to this Easter celebration I uh, I get excited I heard uh, Dr. Blackburn talk about this time of year but uh, I I get excited anytime I get an opportunity to talk about Jesus but realizing what he's done for me uh, in my life and uh, what he's done for the world I, I, I think we ought to uh, give him some praise, give him, give him all the praise and the glory in which we can. Now, I, I come uh, wanting to talk just a little bit about uh, the prophecy of the cross, the, the, the situation and what it's all about. Amen? And in doing this, there is no... Uh, I don't think there's no powerful or divine divine power 
that was pinned by the, than, than that that was pinned by the prophet of Isaiah in the 53rd chapter as we uh, can relate. I'm, I'm going to read uh, chapter 53 and its entirety and then I'm going just to expound on it just a little bit because it says quite a bit. Amen. So if you just come, go with me. If you have your Bibles, turn to the book of Isaiah and, 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 and chapter 53. Uh, let's begin reading at verse 1. Only 12 verses, and I think they all bear reading. Who have believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of our dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness and when he shall see him, these, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men and a man of sorrow, acquaintance of grief with grief. And we hid, as it were, our face from him. We, Lord have mercy, hid our face. I, I had to say that again. We, we, Lord have mercy, from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows, yet we did not esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and, afflict, <coughs> and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquities of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was bought as a lamb to slaughter and a sheep before the shearer is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in the death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him he hath put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul, Lord have mercy, an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail, travel of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many for he shall bear the iniquities bear their iniquities bear our iniquities therefore will I divide him as a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoils with the strong because he hath poured out his soul unto death and he shall 
and he was numbered with the transgressors and bare the sins of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Lord have mercy. Now, if, if, you, if you could just bear with me for a few minutes. Because as, as I read this, as, as I've read it more times than I care to, even though it seemed that I stumbled through it. Lord have mercy. Uh, Jesus, our Christ. The cross, he, he came for this purpose. He came, Lord have mercy, even though he already knew. He came because of me and you and all the rest of us who was, Lord have mercy, created by him. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Not one, no, not one, not one of us are worthy of what was done for us. Understanding how Jesus, understanding how he came into the world. As we look at this, I, I'm gonna work my way through it, and when I, by the time I get to 10, I'm hoping I'm still, I'm still here, but I'm just gonna discuss. How about that? As we look at the first few verses, it's talking about the way he came into the world like a root in dry ground. In other words, when he came here, he didn't come, Lord have mercy, on top of anything. He came uh, a lowly individual. He came uh, to, Lord have mercy, dwell on earth with us, without anything, a lowly existence. Lord have mercy, the Jews rejected him because he didn't come as they expected a Messiah to show up. He was rejected because, Lord have mercy, uh, he was nothing to those other folk who called themselves wealthy and well-to-do. He was despised and rejected. He was surrounded by sinners. He who knew no sin was surrounded by sinners. There was nothing here, Lord have mercy, that was worthy, uh, uh, Lord have mercy, to even dress, uh, be around him. But yet, he stayed with us. For years, until such time in due season, his time came. Jesus His account of suffering, he suffered quite a bit, Lord have mercy. His suffering was planned. He knew he was, been, he knew, uh, when I think about Jesus and all he's done for me, the suffering that he put, I, I don't know how you feel about it, but he, had, he came and took on all the sins of the world. That verse to say, by his stripes, we are healed. Listen, by the whooping that he take, our soul, not, not, not our soul was being healed. Some of, us, some of the things that he did, we can't really feel. We can't really, he Heal our souls by taking a whooping. Y'all don't hear me. Lord have mercy. Our sins, uh, like I said, this ain't going to take long. Do we realize that the thorns that were placed on his head was our sins? I'm talking about the, 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 the nails that were placed in his arms and his hands and his feet, the, the, the spear in the side was our sins. Not his sins, but your sins and mine. 
He took on these sins, his suffering. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we will suffer in our believing in him. Regardless to how you feel about it. Again, I say, he did this. Not, not because <laughs> you, you, you deserve anything. You, you couldn't even put your sins on him if you wanted to. He took on your sins and mine freely on his own accord because he loved us even when we wasn't even worthy of his love. I, I don't know if y'all heard what I just said, but we was not even worthy of his love, and he loved us anyway. Understanding that in this text, in, 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 in what, 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 what Isaiah penned here, he, he was like a, a sheep led to slaughter. And he said not a word, nothing. We're talking about the power of the love of God. He was able to accept, to receive all of the judgment. He was placed in prison. I'm talking about Jesus now. Taking the judgment for our transgression. See, everything he, he went through, he committed no sin. He committed no, he, 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 there was no wrong in him. None, zero. If you could just stop and think of all the things that you have done. I'm talking about now, if, if you're a Christian, if you're, if, if you're watching me at this point in time, if, 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 you, if you could understand and just take a, a thought, some of those things that you don't even think you did, I'm talking about your sins. I'm talking about the things that, 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 that you're, not, not that you're, you, you, you did yesterday and, and long time ago. I'm talking about uh, uh, the things that you might be doing even today. Lord have mercy. Sometimes we have joy in our sins. But Jesus took those sins upon himself. Not just yesterday's sin, not just today's sins, but those sins of tomorrow. And, 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 and if you say you don't sin, Peter said you're a lie. Lord have mercy. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I, I got to uh, uh, agree with that. He was so, Lord have mercy, disliked. Even when he was on the cross, according to what I read here, they wanted to bury him with the heathens. They wanted to bury him even after death. I mean, he, 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 he took himself even unto death. He suffered even unto death. And after death, they wanted to bury him with the heathens. But, but the Lord saw different. By way of a man named Joseph, he was buried in a new tomb. But the cross, the cross, it says the Lord, our God, it pleased him. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. Why, 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 why do you think it pleased the Lord to bruise him? Chap uh, down in verse 10. It, it, it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He put him to grief. 
I, I, I know this is, this is, this, this, I don't know if, see, I feel all of this. When I, when I understand that the Lord was pleased not because he was causing his only begotten to suffer, he was pleased because of the love he showed for his creation. Now, I'm talking about you and me. I'm talking about the world. I'm talking about the love that, that he was willing to lay down his life for this. Even, even the world with all of its problems with all of the sinners, giving us an opportunity to atone. We have to accept him. Watch this here. You have, Lord have mercy, to accept the fact that you are a sinner and believe that he is, Lord have mercy, the son of the living God. Verse 10 said, he shall, oh, uh, Lord have mercy, thou shalt make his soul an offering for our sins. We, the wages of sin is still death. The wages of sin has not changed. It was from the beginning. It's still, uh, it's the same now. But Jesus on the cross, while on the cross, he took on your sins and mine. The wages of sin is still death. But understanding that, 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 that he made himself sin for us. When we start talking about prolonging, y'all don't hear this. I'm talking about the glory of God. I'm talking about you have a, a, an ability, Lord have mercy, not just now. He made it possible that you might continue on even from this world. I want, I want y'all to hear what I'm saying. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ask or even think. When, 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 I, when I look at what's, what, 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 what's about, what we're about to celebrate, talking about Resurrection Day, that's coming. Jesus hurt. If you think he didn't feel pain, Lord have mercy, you're wrong. He was 100% man. He felt everything just as you and I feel. When they whipped him, when they, when, they, when, they, when, when they beat him, when they nailed him to the cross, when they, when they pierced him in his side, everything, he felt it all. Verse 11 says, he shall travel in his soul. When he talk about he shall hurt and, and, and shall be satisfied, Lord help me, how you be satisfied under all that pain and pray. I'm talking about my Lord, my God. He was satisfied in that he was taking it on. Lord have mercy. He was paying the way for the grace of God. He was, he was satisfied in his travail. He was satisfied in the suffering. He was satisfied in the pain because what he was doing was making a way for you and me. He was making a way that the spirit he was paying for. 
He was paying for the spirit and the grace of God to dwell with us, me and you. Y'all don't, that, that's exciting, that's, that's some exciting news there. See, see, on the cross, he was, he was making a, more than just a payment that you might be able, oh Lord have mercy, to forgive your sins, but he was making a way that you might be able to do it with grace. Lord have mercy. Because you ain't going to stop sinning today. <laughs> you, 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 I, I don't care uh, uh, what you might think. It says, he shall be satisfied that by his knowledge, shall, Lord have mercy, shall my righteous servant justify many. Lord have mercy. He didn't say all. And, I, and, and sometimes we, when we start thinking about why he said, he died for the world. But just as he did in the garden, there's a choice. It will justify many, but, it, but, 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 but your part. Some of us, some of us think that uh, uh, I, I, you could keep on doing what you're doing with no remorse, but that ain't true. As I started this, I said he loved the world that whosoever might, whosoever believe might. You got to believe in him. You got to believe that the cross, the suffering of our Christ was for you. Some, some, I, I, I believe he died and got up. and uh, The suffering, so you don't have to. Now, now some of, we have to suffer our infirmities. We, we have these little light afflictions. Some, some of these afflictions that we have that we think are so great, when it compare to what happened on the cross, these are light afflictions, and he gave you what you would need to get through them. As he told those, those, those brothers, the thunder and lightning, those, those that their mother's talking about, can they sit on your right hand and your left hand? Y'all know them, John and, and, and his brother. And then he told them, no, you can't drink of this cup. Y'all couldn't go through what I'm about to go through. Understanding he prepared a place for us, even in this world. Yep. Now, see, some people say, well, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, his grace and mercy. His grace and mercy. And mercy is with us, even to the end, y'all and y'all and hear me, even to the end of the world, even to the end of it all. His grace and mercy will see you through. I understand pain. I want y'all to understand that. I understand pain. I understand hurt. But I don't believe I've been through anything that can justify what God has done for me. I, I don't believe I, I, I've been through anything. The little that I have been through, and I've been through more than many, much more. But God, because of what he did on the cross, I, I ain't, I'm, not even, I'm not even getting to his getting up. I'm talking about but what he did on the cross. We got to understand what he did on the cross was significant. If not, he could have just went. He should have just, just, just died. It was necessary. As, as, as the cross was necessary. When it said it pleased the Lord. 
that he suffered. When it says he was satisfied at the travail. We're talking about trying to satisfy the iniquities of mankind. Satisfy what they, what, 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 what. They're, 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 it didn't get to being satisfied to after. Lord have mercy. I, I, on the cross, not getting up when Jesus said, it is finished. I, I want y'all to hear what I'm saying. See, if it wasn't necessary, these things he had to do, he had to, he had to suffer. He bled. Some say he was unrecognizable. That's how bad they beat him. The flesh was being torn from his body. Y'all don't hear me. I'm talking about what happened on the cross. I'm talking about what happened as, as, as he was headed, Lord have mercy, to the death. He had to pay in order that you might have a comforter. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. See, the comforter, <laughs> I'm going to be through in a minute. I'm going to be through in a minute. The comforter, the, 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 the spirit of God and the grace of God, in order to receive that, he had it, it, it couldn't have been a snap situation. Lord have mercy. Understanding, he did this to justify many. So he will receive his portion. When we start talking about receiving his portion, we, we, we're talking about his portion of us because there are some I, I, and I wish there are none I, 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 I know he went through this that everybody but he said whosoever whosoever will that means his portion his portion is, is, is many a great number but, all, no, but not all even today and, and, and I'm finished. E e even, even today, there are still many, a great number, that despise even his name. That e even today, there are many who refuse to even want to understand. Who Jesus is. The work of the cross is still viable. The work of the cross, even over 2,000 years ago, the work of the cross is still in play. Hey, there's, there, there, there's so much room at the cross for so many more. All you got to do is give him a, give, give him a chance because my God, <laughs> I, 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 ain't, I ain't going there. He's able, he's able, I tell you, to make a way out of no way. There was no way until the cross. All was lost until the cross. There was no help. Lord have mercy. He helped us all. He poured out his soul. Verse 12 said, he poured out his soul even unto death. And he was numbered among the transgressors. We're talking about our Christ. That you and I might live. Understanding. That it's the cross. That made our lives. I'm through. 
God, we, 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 in the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for your darling son who thought it not robbery that he come down into this world, that he get firsthand knowledge of the sins of the world. And even though he lived in it, he saw it firsthand. He still, he still endured the cross. Because in him is hope. And hope is him. If you want hope, come. If you want hope, ask. If you want hope, he's the only one that's able to deliver. Lord God, help those who are on the fence. Help those who are looking. Help those, those who yet to see. Understand that Jesus, he went to the cross for us all. It's in Jesus' name, amen.